you say that it was even more impressive to go down and execute it like that when they actually did know that it was coming and you weren't trying to catch them off guard? No, no doubt. And that's why I say, like, we, we didn't want to, you know, it's being a preseason week one game, it's not necessarily we're throwing our ones out there. We're not trying to catch anybody. You know, we want them to kind of know that it's coming and expect it. And at, at the end of the day, it's, it's kind of one of those things you feel when, when you're rolling like that, as long as we execute and, and we're in the right spots and we got the quarterback making the right decisions, we, sh we shouldn't be stopped. And with the guys that we have, like we, jo like we said, you know, if Jarvis and eight and 13 are out there, then, you know, that's just guys that are making more plays with the ball. Well, I, I always, being a California guy, I always joke, and, and Jared Goff's kind of the same way. Yeah. You know, California, we're a little bit more laid back there, and, and obviously Texas, everything's bigger, faster, and, and harder. So you just, you know, Baker's a guy that, that, you know, he goes hard in everything he does, and obviously Carson's a little bit more laid back. But the thing a lot of people don't know about both of those guys, too, being Carson and Jared, that once you get between the lines, it's, it's a switch. And I think it's Baker kind of just lives his life that way. You know what I mean? And, and, and it, it works out. And I keep saying he's as authentic as they come. You know, there's a guy, Phillip Rivers is the same way in, in San Diego or in L.A. now. You know, he's a guy that is locked in all the time, and, and the guys respect it. The guys rise to that level that he, he sets as a standard.